Welcome to another edition of UTA Spotlight. I am your host, Kylan Riley. Throughout the semester, UTA students will get the opportunity to speak directly to UTA President Kabari at an event called Pizza with the President. Here's Katherine Williams with more. On September 18th, UTA hosted Pizza with the President. Students and faculty enjoyed eating pizza while asking President Kabari their concerning questions. Some topics of concern were about parking, prerequisites for courses, and more. President Kabari enjoys meeting with the life of UTA. So I just wanted to ask you, what do you get out of meeting with the faculty and the student body? So a university is all about students. And Pizza with the President is just one way that I can get to hear the student body to feel what it really wants. Hopes, desires, complaints as you saw today, some complaints, some kudos. Students find events like Pizza with the President very helpful. It's the place where they feel their voices are heard on issues. It is. I'm kind of excited because like, it's kind of like, because I worked on Greet Your Government on Monday and I was promoting this event. I'm kind of like hyped to see what it's actually about. So like, this will be a good experience. Faculty also finds it a great way to get to know the president as well. Yes, this is my first meeting with the president. It was very informative. I really enjoyed it. And the lunch treat was just icing on the cake. This is Katherine Williams with UTA News. And this seems like a great opportunity for UTA students to meet UTA's president and to grab a slice. On-campus Greek organizations have a requirement for community service. And recently a sorority here on campus did just that by raising money for a good cause. The Delta Alpha Sigma sorority ladies hosted a sale in front of the university center last week. They organized the sale to raise funds for a safe haven which is a shelter for women and children. Vanessa Martinez is the organization's treasurer. She said that profits from their sale will go towards basic necessities that women and children might need. Um, anything we can to do to help this community is probably one of the biggest rewards it is. They sold a variety of snacks such as mangonadas, chicharrones, and pink lemonade. UAS has opened up multiple doors and it makes me feel Really happy to be able to help the pink lady said they chose to sell mangonadas because they are always a big hit and accessible to take to class. Andrea Hernandez, UTA News. The pink ladies will continue to hold sales throughout the semester. In other news, UTA's eSports club is now all grown up and into a competitive team that plays for scholarships. Julio Vega has more with eSports. UTA hosted its first varsity level eSports event, Battle for Texas. 16 colleges competed for a share of the $10,000 prize by playing Overwatch. With the newly formed varsity team, UTA fell in the group stage as UT Austin was crowned the tournament victor. You know, we have a really good team, right? Everyone individually are great players, everyone's phenomenal. You know, we put up a good fight, um, but ultimately we have definitely some, some communication stuff we can work on uh, moving forward. The event was hosted at the eSports Stadium in Arlington providing an outlet for gamers of all ages. Younger players were able to compete online alongside professional gamers to get a more competitive taste of eSports. So seeing UTA do that here in our hometown is a, is a really great uh, you know, opportunity for us. Um, it, it legitimizes the uh, value of eSports within uh, the collegiate scene, uh, which then empowers you know, high schools and, and all of that trickle down through, through all of our education system. Rojas is a pro player for the Dallas Fuel and says seeing the growing community of esports in Arlington will help create a new acceptance by the masses. Julio Vega, UTA News. That's all for today. I am your host, Kylan Riley, and I'll see you next week.